Hey guys, I'm Kimberly from It's So Emma and we have a brand new product by Lori Holt. It's called the Quick Press Seam Roller and I'm gonna start off and show you how I've been using it in my sewing room and then I'm gonna hand it off to Lori to show you how she uses it. So we basically took one of her vintage baking pins, right? What are they? The rollers, it's like a pastry roller or yep. wallpaper roller. Yep, and then we had them made and basically I have been doing a log cabin sew along and with our It's So Emma paper and I have found that, so this is where the very last step, I'm gonna show you how I've been using mine. I made this block by just using the roller and if you just finger press, so see, you can see that it's sitting up, right? You can see it go boop, boop, boop. And if you do the press, boop, it's all flat. So I have been using it using my paper and I have been having so much fun with it, but I wanna see how Lori uses it on hers. Okay, so I use it for my pieced blocks and my applique. So first, let me show you the piece blocks. So this is just, see, the back of squares. You can see these are ones that I've pressed open. So I find out it's really handy in that when I'm doing little sections mm -hmm. like that, and it's easier to line up. And I have that one, even ones that are on an angle like this. I'll go ahead and press open. And it saves you a trip back and forth to the iron. Especially like during a retreat or something like that. Yes. So when there's not a lot of irons and you have to, you know, stand in line waiting for the irons. And sometimes you just want like a little segment pressed open so that you can add the next one on. Yep. So you can see it does a really nice flat piece. And this so, is so exciting, the next part. Well, this is just um, squares that I'm putting together, but I just wanted to show you how nice it pressed flat so you just mm -hmm. kind of open them up and i like to have it on a like a cutting mat like a flat surface instead of my ironing mm -hmm. board obviously and i just go back and forth like that and then after i've sewn the four together this way then i'll just kind of split it apart right here and all i have to do is start it and then this rolls back and forth and then if i have a whole bunch of segments like this then I'll just lay them on my ironing board after maybe if I want to, if I feel like, and just go like this really fast. But I also use them for my applique. So here's some of my So Simple Shapes already turned. And so her So Simple Shapes, we have a video on how she does this method. She uses her sew-in interfacing um, and we have a tutorial on how you do that. And what you do is you flip it out like she's doing right here. I just flip it out, I use this clover point turner turner let me move that so you can see and I just kind of shape it like this when I get to the points like a little turn it sideways and press it out then after I have it shaped see how it's kind of kind of a little bit puffy then I'll just go along with the roller go back and forth a few times and it's perfect see I like it to be just a little teeny bit puffy I don't mm -hmm. want it to be super duper flat because the applique, that's the, that's the beauty of it. You want to make it look like it's got a little bit of dimension. So this is perfect for that. And I like it um, when she showed me on the applique because sometimes when you are pressing applique, it can get creases. So this is going to be really helpful for me when I do my applique. So we love her brand new quick press seam roller. Pick it up today at Fat Quarter Shop.